Salut tout le monde, comment ça va? Chad here with another fragrance review. This time, I believe it's an exclusive. I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find this anywhere. So if it's an exclusive, great. If it's not, whatever. So today I am going to be reviewing Michel Germain Sexual Noir. Or if you're an English person, it's Mich Michael Germain Sexual Noir. So I don't have the bottle. I actually got a um, sample from the store. So hopefully my crappy little digital camera could uh, show you. If not, take my word for it. Okay. So the main accords are aromatic, sweet, honey, citrus, and warm spicy. It is considered a woody fougade. Um, it opens up with fresh notes of Italian bergamot, cardamom, and grapefruit, which blend with the heart note of intoxicating lavender, orange blossom, musk, honey, and coriander. The base is a velvety moss, tonka, and masculine sweet tobacco. Mmm, mmm, that sounds great. Now, does it? I don't know. So, but it, uh, the smell though, it really is nice. It, it's a great scent. It's masculine, it's sexy. Uh, to me, it's a perfect night out fragrance or an intimate setting with your spouse, lover, one night stand, whatever you do. Um, there are some downfalls with it. Longevity sucks. I got about two, three hours. I am not making that up. Um, I even saw a clip on another uh, reviewer's page a while ago and what he uh, uh, recommended was take unscented skin lotion, hand lotion, whatever, and mix the, the, fra the, the fragrance itself, rub it together and use it like a, um, it's like a body wash instead because you know how expensive they are. I was hoping to get like another hour, two, I didn't get nothing. Um, the silage, again, not great. Uh, the price here in Canada, we get screwed big time. It's uh, 75 to $90. Um, I was checking the site, uh, the bay, because uh, that's the only place that I know that sells it here. And it didn't say the, the size, but I'm going to guess it's 50 ml or 75 ml. Um, would I get it? Not really. Uh, the longevity, if it, if it was at least five hours to six, possibly for the price, hell no. Um, like I said, we, we, our, our fragrances up here, if you don't get them through like uh, Fragrance Net or Fragrance X or any discounter, a lot of our places, we overpay. The only places that I see that eventually where you can get like this at a dis, uh, discounted rate, cheaper rate, whatever you want to call it, is possibly Marshalls or Winners, but because it came out last year, I don't see that anytime soon. Um, but shop around, you might get lucky. Would I recommend it? No. Uh, trying it? Yeah. Like it didn't last on me, it might last different on you. Who knows it, it's a sexy smell I'm not gonna lie it, it's a great scent it's sexiness in a bottle it's kind of like Perry Ellis M but Perry Ellis M is so much better and it's different but uh, yeah you know what I wouldn't waste 75 to 90 dollars Canadian for it if you could get a uh, tester strip decount uh, definitely give it a shot and that's it so hopefully um, this, uh, you enjoyed my review. Thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you later. A bientôt. Prends soin. Peace.